And we begin in Poland Township. This is a live look from a barn fire, which was actually earlier this afternoon. Not really anything left of the building, just some firefighters still on the scene, though. This is along Struthers Road. They're still working to put out some places where that fire might have a chance to fire back up and burn again. Now here's what the scene looked like just earlier today. You can see emergency crews there dousing the barn with water and it's gone. Just a few embers left standing. We follow this story for you as breaking news at noon. I knew at six we're getting a better look at the fire just after it started. A viewer sent us in a picture showing some intense flames, a lot of black smoke too. There it is. 27 First News reporter Julie Bursick learned about extra step that the fire crews had to take in this fire and some of the history behind the barn. She's live tonight in Poland Township to show us what's happening right now. Yeah, Dave and Eric, I moved about 25 feet away from where I joined you live at uh, First News at 530 because I wanted to give you a different picture. And you can see just how devastating that fire is. You can see some of that farm equipment completely charred, just remains firefighters soaking the scene right now. They tell me what they need to do is really just saturate all that hay with water to make sure no other fires kick up. So still, uh, you know, an active scene out here, not nearly as busy as it was when we were out here all afternoon covering this. But when I was out here this afternoon, I had a chance to talk with a man and he told me why seeing this is especially hard for him. Black charred remains are all that's left of this barn in Poland Township. The farming equipment inside, including two antique tractors, ruined. The smoke so bad, someone saw it in Trumbull County. One of the fire chiefs uh, who's here now took a picture up by the air base where he could see the smoke in the uh, sky. Western Reserve Joint Fire District called for backup right away. Five other departments helped attack the fire. Not only because of the size of the fire, but because of the heat. Uh, it's, it, uh, this type of temperature and uh, humidity just wipes firefighters out. The barn fire wasn't the only issue. Embers started falling on other buildings and the cornfields. This is certainly a heartbreaking sight for a lot of people who live by here. Seeing this barn completely consumed in flames and for one man, it's especially hard to see he built this barn. Dug all them poles by hand. Didn't have no equipment. Thomas Hutchko was born in the house right next to the barn. This is the second time he's seen a barn on the property catch on fire. Back in the 70s, a lightning hit it. I don't know what burned this. The, that pole's as far as the light tree goes. There's no electric in the barn. Chief Comstock says it's too early to figure out what started the fire. And sometimes when a fire is big as this, it's hard to determine what started it. I want to give you another idea of just how devastating that fire was. We talked about the cornfield. Go ahead and look at it. You can see that was part of that fire crews were out there just dousing water on that. You can see just the dryness of that affected right behind the fire. And then when you come over here, you can look a little different. They were also out in there. You can just see how thick and black that mud is there. Fire crews out here a long time this afternoon getting water on that, making sure that fire didn't spread. So another part of the story that we don't think about, just the barn fire and then the other effects that it can have. But the good news for this, no firefighters injured in all of this. Checked in with the chief again, no issues of heat stroke or heat exhaustion. And no animals were in this barn either, just farming equipment. So as you can see, that is more than likely a total loss here. And now the people who have that equipment in there tell me, it's just starting to sink in and they are trying to process this all and figure out what to do next. For now, reporting live in Poland Township, Julie Bursick, WKBN 27 First News.